Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on create and configure set GID directories for collaboration. So it's literally um, setting a particular group uh, with read, write uh, and execute permissions um, and that allows the group uh, to collaborate. So even though someone else has perhaps written to that um, file or uh, created that file it allows them just that group only to uh, collaborate in that particular directory so you can lock that down so it's just that particular group and obviously root has got the access still but all the rest of the users will not have access to that directory so first things first let's log in sudo bash okay now then we do a group add and we're creating accounts uh, so perhaps I'll you know, so now we've got some accountants joining, so group add accounts. You can then check the groups we added, etc. Group, and then we do a grep for accounts. And we can see the accounts have been created, and this is the group number. It's not so important. We can now make the directory to we're going to share. So home, shared accounts, let's make the IR, make directory, minus p which is the create all the any parent directories if required, so if this that shared directory doesn't exist it's going to create that as part of that, and just hit return, so that's created, so now we're going to ch own this directory, and change it so nobody is the owner of this um, directory, Okay. Okay, and then we're going to do a C. So nobody's. Oh, sorry. Just before I missed that, um, nobody is the owner, and accounts is the owner from a group perspective. So that's ownership, as in the user ownership, and then that's the ownership as in group ownership. And then ch mod. So modify the actual permission. So g. We'll do a g plus s. To, so group plus sticky bit is the s and then home shared and accounts again successfully done and we do a chmod 770 home shared accounts so this is giving the read write execute permissions in that directory and we can just do an ls minus l or I like to do the full one and do home shared there we can see the there's the accounts directory created we can see it's owned by nobody it's at all and nobody has read write execute permissions however you can see the special permissions here with the read write and then the s which is the sticky bit that's been set for the group accounts okay so the next thing is, once we've now created that, let's actually test this out. So if we just do a clear, and we create two more users. So it's user add minus g to specify the account, uh, the group. So I'll set the group accounts, and we'll call user accountant one. Yeah, that's fine. Because I did this earlier, and that will say the same for this one. Cool. So there's nothing to worry about. It's just saying that with the uh, the a user home directory would exist because I tried this out earlier. Excellent. So now we're going to sue as that account. So sue hyphen or sorry or dash, which is uh, to say that you use all the the path variables for that particular user. Um, and then sue accountant one. We should now be able to then cd home shared accounts. And we've got nothing in at the moment, so we just do a touch accounts accounts file one. I think very interesting. And then exit. We just do an ls minus l to see it's there. So it's it's owned by accountant and the group is accounts. Okay. So now let's check sue accountant two. 
and we do the same thing again so cd home shared accounts shared accounts and do ls minus l okay you can see the account files there so we can do a touch and we just do an accounts file let's do accounts file 2 to see i created that and we just do a ls minus l to see the difference so you can see the ownership difference obviously and let's do a vi on accounts file 1 so that's the one you have one created you have user created and we can insert test and obviously we can write that see the chart size, the size has changed the ownership has stayed the same and you can see it's still owned by the accounts and you can see the, obviously the size has changed slightly okay so we've established that works so they, they can actually uh, write to each other's file they can actually collaborate within that directory so let's try as a new user so I think we should have still my user one which won't be added to that group yep and we can always do a user, user add user one if you want to if you didn't have that user what I will do then is try to see the that directory shared accounts because I want to see my uh, who else is getting paid more than me so I'll go into the accounts directory and permission denied so who who has access is only the people that remember that accounts directory um, obviously they don't need to be uh, particularly privileged it's just they have to be a member of that uh, that, that set uh, group so yeah that pretty much covers that um, that particular section thanks again for watching your support is is is, is greatly appreciated on uh, coffee so you can just buy me a, a coffee if you've got a few bucks to spare that'd be awesome uh, the uh, the uh, link is in the description also check out the Sophos Home Antivirus uh, it's what I use currently at home it's it's a fantastic uh, way to protect all your devices um, and it's pretty cheap they've also got a, a free version if you're interested in that um, it allows you to I think put connect five devices to the uh, console so then you can view all the same devices and see if there's any alerts and you can use it on the go as well which is quite good uh, and then finally the hosting of VPS which is I did a, um, a video a little bit uh, a little while ago about um, actually practicing on the go and we used the hosting of v VPS to uh, demonstrate that so again the link for that is, in, is below so yeah um, that concludes the, the, the section um, thanks for watching once again and I'll catch you next video thanks